Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to take backup and restore of AWS RDS Aurora MySQL. So let's get started. So first I'm going to create an Aurora MySQL instance. Then we'll, then I'll show you how to take a backup of that and how to restore it. So this is basically going to be a two part series. So in the first part, I'm going to show you how to do that using the UI. And in the second video, I'll show you how to do the same thing using the CLI. Right. So let's create a DB instance, an Aurora DB instance. And I'll do an easy create because since we just want to show backup and restore, I'll not go into the details of how to create a MySQL Aurora with all the configurations, right? Uh, I can do a complete video series on, on that because there are so much of so many things to tell when you talk about Aurora, right? So for this video, I'll just do an easy create. I'll keep it dev test, database admin, uh, all the options I'll just leave as is. And I'll just do a create database. So this is going to take a good 10, 15 minutes. So I'll just pause the video and come back when we have our database instance available. All right, so our database, as you can see, is now in available state. So. Uh, with Aurora, the thing is that it creates a cluster and then it creates a database instance uh, with other type of IRDs. It's not the case. You can actually directly create a database instance. Uh, why is that? Uh, probably this is not the video to talk about that because there are so many things to talk about uh, Aurora. There are so many features AWS offers in Aurora that probably I can do a video series of like more than 10 videos and just talk about Aurora. There are so many features. Anyway, uh, so our instance is available. And when Aurora creates an instance, it also initiates an automated backup. So if you just go to automated backups, you can see it has already created an automated backup, right? And this is like right now. But what uh, what we are going to do is we are going to do a manual uh, snapshot and go into action and you just take a snapshot. Uh, DB instance one, and I'll just name it database one snapshot, right? And I'll do a take a snapshot. This is probably going to take some time as well because it is in creating state, right? Although this is like a fresh DB, so it shouldn't take much time, but I think it still take around five, five minutes. So I'll just pause the video till this snapshot is getting created, right? No, I'm not going to make you wait for five minutes. Okay, so our snapshot is now available. So it took what, four minutes for this to complete. So since this was a fresh DB, we don't have anything. So now we have an automated backup, which was taken. So this actually, uh, I mean, if I talk about little, little talk, if I talk little about uh, automated backup is that it happens during a maintenance window that you define, right? So, I mean, and it happens daily. So you, you can define a maintenance video and uh, RDS will basically do a backup of your, and these are incremental backups, not full backup, right? So these are incremental. And then you can take manual snapshots, right? Like we have done. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this database. So first I need to delete the database instance and then the cluster. So delete me, delete. And I'm going to delete the cluster as well. No, I don't want to create the final snapshot. So you get this option, right? To create final snapshot. And if you want to retain the automated backups. So I don't want to retain the uh, automated backups and I don't want to create a final snapshot. I'll just acknowledge. And I'll do delete me again and delete DB cluster. So this will take another five to 10 minutes. Uh, again, I'll pause the video and come back once we have everything deleted. All right, finally, so it took close to 15 minutes for these instances to get deleted, right? I think creation took around 12 minutes, deletion took 15, so deletion took more time. Anyway, uh, I mean, the length of this video is probably a lot shorter than time taken to create and delete these uh, clusters. Anyway, let's go to our snapshots now. Now it's time to restore. And we have one snapshot which we created. So we'll just 
click on this go to actions and we will have restore snapshot all right we are just going to give it an identifier so we'll call it database hyphen one hyphen restore so we know that this has been restored rest everything will just leave it as is so when you are restoring a database there are a few things you can change like you can change the instance type you can change the vpc right you can do that but we are not going to do anything we're just going to leave everything as is and we are going to restore the db cluster and this again is going to do the same thing it is going to start a cluster and a db instance but I'm not going to make you wait for this instance to come up. That's all I actually wanted to show how you basically take backup. You are actually not taking backup. You're just taking the snapshot of the storage and then how to restore from that snapshot. Uh, and we talked about automated backup as well that uh, RDS takes automated backup by default in the window you define when you're creating uh, Aurora, right? Uh, but this is not the video to talk about those in details. Probably we'll do a course on Aurora and then we'll talk about these details. Anyway, so that's all I wanted to show for this video. I hope you guys like this video. In the next video, we are going to do the same thing using AWS CLI. So please do check that out. And thank you for watching this one.